Lucky we didn't go over the edge. Boy, that tire's shot. Yeah, it's had it. Man, what a mess! Hey, watch it, you're stepping on my stick! Hey, get off the truck, will you? I'm gonna take a look around. Go ahead. Somebody's gonna yeah. pay for this. Yeah. Careful, man, don't uh, Come on, get out of there. Really. Look at this. Give me your drum. Well, you Skip guys that. really messed things up. Well, somebody's gonna pay Bernie Wallace for a 200 buck trombone if I gotta go to the Pentagon. You guys stick close to the truck. I don't want anybody wandering off. Are you kidding, man? What are we gonna do? Take these for a walk? You just do what I tell you. I'm responsible. Yeah. And you're doing a great job. Blew a tire, Bernie. Wasn't his fault. So what? They shouldn't have tried to move us by truck in the first place. Oh, that's all they had, Bernie. Baloney. If I was Tommy Dorsey, you can bet your sweet face that I'd have a plane just waiting to take us to the front. How much further we gotta go? Who knows? Ask the driver. He's the one who got us lost. We're not lost. We had to come this way because the bridge was washed out. Hey, Bernie. Hey, I can still play. How about you, Hank? Hey, knock it off, you guys. You heard what the sergeant said. OK, soldier. Now, wait a minute. We're civilians, see? Volunteer entertainers. We got um, officer status. You guys want to play? Play. Here, give me that. Stupid. Passed off. Get your hand there? Nah, go back and join the squirrels. What the heck do they think they're doing? Scrub patrol moving in. I have to flank them. Let's go.
Look what they did. He got nothing but my sticks left, man. You're lucky it wasn't you. He did? Yeah. Did you see him, Bernie? They were shooting right at my fiddle. Look. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Come here. You in charge here? No, the sergeant. Well, get him over here. What are you guys doing up here, anyway? That's what I want to know. The Army's got no right sending us this close to the front. We could have got killed. You are so, huh? That's right, Mac. And I want some protection for my men. I didn't bring them out here to get shot up this way. Somebody's gonna pay. Somebody already did. Where do you think you are, Coney Island? We heard you half a mile back and so did the Krauts. From blowing your brains out, they would have passed you by and nobody would have got hit. Now, look, soldier. You just keep your mouth shut. What are we going to do with them, Sarge? I don't know. We can't leave them here. We're just going to have to take them. All right, you come with us. And if you want to stay alive, you do what I tell you, and you do it fast. Where are you taking us? I'm going to check out an area up ahead. OK, let's go. Forget it, sweetheart. You just got a new assignment. you say? Well, uh, look, Sarge, uh, uh, this means that we got officer rank. We want to go back to our own lines now. We'll take you back to our lines as soon as we finish our mission. Kirby, move them out. <coughs> go on, you heard the Sarge. Let's go. Hey, what do you think you're going to do with that thing? Taking it with me. Don't worry, I can carry it. You tell us. I didn't want to cause you more trouble. All right, Doc, we'll take five. See what you can do for him, huh? He needs a real doctor. Now you gotta take us back. I'm holding you responsible, Sarge. You're endangering civilian lives. Good, we'll take five. Crossroads should be right around the bend. Check it out, huh? Right. You okay, Hank? I'll be fine, Bernie. Don't worry. I worry. That's my job. That dumb dog face don't care what happens to us, but I do. Look, mister. Wallace. Bernie Wallace. Look, he's doing what he has to do. Now, why don't you lay off? Because I'm tired of being pushed around. Now, let me tell you something, soldier. Nobody pushes Bernie Wallace. Not even the generals. I got a lot of friends, see? Well, I'm sure you do. But right now you're here, and you can make it a lot easier hey, on man, all of us. Hey, man, no you... lectures, huh? Just do your job. Take care of my buddy here. And I'll put in a good word for you when I get back. Now, you take it easy, Hank. I mean, um, I got no other trumpet. Sure, Bernie. Ain't gonna be all right, man. Yeah. 
<laughs> How's the fiddle? Yeah, not so good. I, I think maybe I can fix the bridge, but how am I going to fix these strings? Look at all these holes. Those dirty crowds really tried to ruin me. It's not going to happen again. You see? The next time, old Woody's going to protect yourself. Where'd you get that? Picked it up back there. But throw it away. Come on, Bernie. I found it. Besides, I'm a pretty good shot. We ain't supposed to carry arms. Get rid of it. I'll take that. I don't want to catch any of your boys playing soldier. You got it? Don't worry. Neither do I. We got more important things to do. mission. <laughs> Remember, little John, I'm from New Orleans. I've been around Jasmine all my life. All they think about is their music. They live in their own private little world. Okay, that ought to hold you for a little while. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> 27 years blowing the horn and all I ever got was a split lip. That's a long time. I think Dave has been around a long time. I played in some of the top bands, you know. No kidding. How old are you? Forty-two. Well, a little more, maybe. <laughs> See, it must be kind of rough on you out here. Why do you do it? It's important to me. I had a boy here. Eighteen years old when he was killed at Omaha Beach. Oh, it seems like about the only thing I can do for him now is keep on blowing that horn. Crossroads up ahead there. There's a bombed out building near it, too. Okay, let's go. <sighs> well, I'd still like to get me a couple of krauts. Well, you cut it out, Woody. Let the soldiers do the fighting. The world's full of them. There's only one Woody Jones on the base. All we gotta do is stay cool. seems to be around. Go be around me, we'll check it out. The rest of you stay put. What is that thing anyway? Who knows?
sure is quiet. Yeah, it's just like a sunny date in Philly, man. <laughs> I'll clear this end, Sarge. All right, get the others in here and take security outside. Okay, let's go. John, radio. <laughs> this is some hotel, man. It reminds me of that flea bag we played in Pittsburgh last year. Yeah, it smells like it, too. Over here. Easy. You all right? I'm kind of faint. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Take a little drink of this. Ugh. Why didn't you pick up the violin? Well, it's a little late now. Yeah. How can you brought that with you? What do you mean? The Germans would give a lot to get their hands on a good fiddle like this. Roger, we'll hold him till relieved, over. Who are you talking to? Can you send us a personnel carry, over? How long will that be, over? What's he say? You say again, how long will that be, over? What's his answer? Well, you keep your mouth shut. Roger. Roger, we'll do. Out. Did you um, tell him about us? What'd they say? The Italian changed their orders. We were supposed to stay here and hold. What about us? Don't worry about it. The Italian wants you to stay put. They're going to send transportation over to pick you up. Well, that's more like it. Cage. Tell Little John and Kirby our orders have been changed. The Italian wants us to stay and hold. Okay. I told old Bernie to get you out of here. Uh, Bernie, can you give me a hand? <clears throat> yeah! What's the matter? Oh, I must have been dreaming, I guess. I, I thought I heard Charlie calling me. Who's Charlie? It's his kid, man. It's awful hot in here, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah.
Sarge. No, thanks. Uh, don't mind Bernie. He owes a lot, but he ain't so bad. Sometimes he, he just can't help himself. He's used to giving orders, that's all. You know, ten years ago, he had one of the biggest bands in the country. Good and two. There was 33 of us, now there's only five. Wood and me are the only ones with them all away. It's, it's hard on them not having a big crowds anymore. You know, when we first come over here, we were supposed to tour with some swinging cats, and it didn't work out. Ain't nothing going right since we started this gig, that's for sure. And we're blowing real good, too. Anyway, I just... I don't tell you why he is like he is, so... Uh, so maybe you could go easy on him, huh? Look, there are two dead GIs back there. How easy do you want me to be on them? Sarge, ground control heading our way. Get over here on these windows. The rest of you stay down in that corner. Hold your fire. Wait till I get closer. Here. Now, look, you wouldn't get more than 50 feet out there, any of you. So get back in that corner and stay down. keeping us here. We ain't his prisoners.
What's going on? I don't know. How's he doing, Doc? Oh, he's okay, Sarge. I was trying to save everybody's life. We ain't got a chance. Yeah, we got a great chance now. We just cut down two of their men under your flag of truce. They'll do anything they can to blow us out of here, and they won't take any prisoners. What are you staring at? I only did it for you guys. Look, we didn't come out here to get killed. We ain't soldiers. We got a right to surrender. We ain't like these guys, Will. We're the best jazz men in the business. Woody, you understand what I mean, don't you? It wasn't right, Bernie, what you did.
Roger. Out. Hey, luck, sir. They'll send this help as soon as they can. Kirby, how much ammo you got? About 20 rounds. Cage, little John, how much ammo you got? I got three clips. Two clips, Sarge. practice on one of these, huh? You got a union rule book that comes with this? Just pull the bolt back. Hey, it's some trombone, huh? Here. I'll slip that in. Just push it down there. Hold it down with your thumb. Now push the bolt back. Watch out for your thumb. <laughs> Better try it again. Something funny? My chick thinks I am in the army. Well, I've been riding it from all the army bases that we play. Zach Fielder has seen all the big battles, man. Well, what's gonna happen when she finds out? Oh, that's bad news. I mean, the terrible thing is I can't even tell her. When I got my draft notice, I played the big scene, you know, the crazy goodbye number and all that. For her folks. Mm -hmm. The whole swinging neighborhood, they give me a big party. Then the army turns me down, right? I go everywhere. I look around, uh, you know, uh, even the Coast Guard, man. They don't want any part of this 4F cat. So I ran right down and I joined the USO. Real fast. <laughs> Everybody thinks I'm a lieutenant. Well, just don't try to give me any orders. <laughs> You're right. I had to keep promoting myself. Funny thing is, I really wanted to marry that chick. He's not doing too good. I think he's going into shock.
Are you surrendering again? Where's your flag? I'm gonna be going very far on this. It's pretty bad over there. As soon as it gets dark, you'll have a chance then to make it out the back. We'll give you all the cover we can. What about you? Our orders are to stay. Hey man, that's suicide. And you ain't got no more bullets. We'll get some. Hey, Kirby. There's a Schmeiser about 20 yards out there to the right. Do you see it? Yeah. One of them's got some grenades on him, too. I guess that will try and get him. Sarge. Why don't you try and get out of here? Come on, Cage. Take it easy. We're all gonna get out of here. I would get myself lost. Yeah, me too. Good job. 
cage. Take this. Just in case they spot us. Okay, let's go. Remember, I've been in all the big battles, man. We did it! 